हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑर्बिटल मैग्नेटिक डायपोल मोमेंट एंड बोर मैग्नेट लेट्स एगेन इन केस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आटम इन केस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आटम हाइड्रोजन आटम पजेस्ट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन सिस्टम वन इलेक्ट्रॉन सिस्टम इन हुईज इन दैट ऑफ वन इलेक्ट्रॉन सिस्टम द ऑर्बिटल क्वांटम नंबर द ऑर्बिटल क्वांटम नंबर दैट डिनोटेड बाय एल दिस इज द ऑर्बिटल क्वांटम नंबर दैट डिटरमाइंस द मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंगुलर मोमेंटम दैट ऑर्बिटल एंगुलर मोमेंटम डिटरमाइंस द मैग्नेट्यूड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंगुलर मोमेंटम now if you consider this is the nucleus of that atom and electron is revolving around that of nucleus in that of bohr's orbit that revolving electron in an orbit of about that of nucleus of an atom in a minute loop minute current loop and produces a magnetic field that magnetic field as produced by that of electron when revolving around that of nucleus in a minute current loop that behave like a magnetic dipole that revolving electron behave like a magnetic dipole magnetic dipole okay and our aim is to determine what that magnetic moment since that electron revolving electron treat as the magnetic dipole means it consist consist of north pole and south pole means the behavior of uh, uh, that uh, electron looks like a magnetic dipole means it possessed both north pole and south pole now we have to determine the magnetic dipole moment or magnetic moment magnetic moment is to be find out magnetic moment is to be find out so how we calculate the magnetic moment let us proceed let we consider an electron of mass m that electron the consideration electron has mass m and charge mu that orbiting with a वेलोसिटी भी वेलोसिटी इन वेलोसिटी भी दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑर्बिटिंग थ्रो दैट ऑफ इन ए सर्कुलर ऑर्बिट ऑफ बोर ऑर्बिट हैविंग रेडियस आर बोर रेडियस बोर ऑर्बिट रेडियस आर बोर ऑर्बिट रेडियस आर if the time period of re revolution with a capital t time period of revolution time period 
of revolution with a capital T. Then that constitute a current and that current the produced current the current the constituted current I will be E by T. that is the charge by time period so that charge is not uh, mu let me consider the charge b electronic charge is e electronic charge b, e so the current will be e by t here the time period of revolution the time period of revolution we the velocity of that of electron is v this one with the bore's orbit of radius so what be the circumference? The circumference will be 2 pi r. So, the time period of revolution will be 2 pi r divided by v. Therefore, the current I is equal to E divided by T that means v divided by 2 pi r. From electrodynamics, the magnitude of orbital magnetic dipole moment. What is that of magnitude? The magnitude of magnitude of orbital magnetic dipole moment. Magnetic dipole moment. that is mu l the magnitude magnitude of mu l is the current into area current into area current i area let capital a and the current e b divided by 2 pi r e b divided by 2 pi r and the area will be pi r square pi r square so simplifying that one 1 r 1 r cancel out 1 pi 1 pi cancel out it will be e v r divided by 2 e v r divided by 2 the direction of current the direction of that current is opposite to the flow of electron the flow of electrons direction is just opposite to that of the direction of current and mu l mu l that is the orbital magnetic dipole moment mu l is the orbital magnetic dipole moment is downward along axis that is opposite to the angular momentum capital L. What is that of direction of that of current? Let me write here. We write the current direction, the current direction is opposite. to flow of electron and the orbital magnetic dipole moment mu l is downward along its axis that is opposite to the angular momentum L the angular momentum L and the angular momentum L that is 
r into linear momentum p or l angular momentum magnitude is equal to magnitude of r cross p that means l is equal to r mv that is mvr l is equal to m v r so the magnitude of mu l well, the magnitude of mu l well, the magnitude of mu l well, that is e l divided by 2m that is e l divided by 2m means in case of vr vr we substitute l by m l by m that is mu l is equal to e l divided by 2m this is the ratio this is the ratio the ratio of magnitude of or that can be simplified if you take the ratio of magnitude of orbital angular momentum mu l to the magnetic dipole moment orbital magnetic dipole moment to that of orbital angular momentum capital l that is e by 2m e by 2m that is the charge of electron this is the mass of electron that is a constant term this is a constant term this is a constant term constant and that constant is known as the gyro magnetic ratio is known as the gyro magnetic gyro magnetic ratio for that of electron the ratio of magnitude of orbital uh, magnetic dipole moment to the orbital angular momentum for that of electron is a constant and that constant is known as gyro magnetic ratio again in vector form the orbital magnetic moment is opposite to that of orbital angular momentum in vector form in vector in vector the orbital magnetic moment mu l well, the orbital and magnetic moment which is opposite to which is opposite to orbital angular momentum orbital angular momentum l so mu l in that a vector form is the negative of e by a 2m in 12 let me introduce a proportionality constant g of l which is known as the g factor introduce a constant using proportionality constant using proportionality constant constant it will be mu l vector form is equal to minus g of l e by 2m l here 
g of l is g of l is equal to 1 uh, to preserve that symmetry g of l is equal to 1 in further equations as we studied in various conditions that value may be different but in that of case g of l is equal to 1 which is known as the g factor or we call it as landes g factor which is known as g factor or landes g factor this is all about orbital magnetic dipole moment how electron revolving of that of electron behave like an magnetic dipole and what should be the magnetic moment of that of magnetic dipole this is the orbital magnetic dipole moment of that of electron next we have to discuss about the concept of bore magneton bore magneton bore magneton what is bohr magneton from quantum mechanics the square of orbital angular momentum in quantum physics mechanics or in quantum physics the square of orbital angular momentum orbital angular momentum is depends on orbital quantum number l So, L square depend upon that of orbital quantum number. So, that orbital quantum number be L whole into L plus 1 h cross square or L will be thus under root of L whole into L plus 1 h cross. So, the orbital magnetic dipole moment mu of l is equal to that is e by 2m l whole into l plus 1 under root h cross previously we studied about mu l is equal to e by 2m into l mu l is equal to e by 2 m into the value of l l into l plus 1 under root h cross that is e h cross divided by 2 m l whole into l plus 1 under root that term is known as mu l mu l that term is known as mu of b l whole into l plus 1 and that mu of b is known as the Bohr magneton where mu of b is equal to e h cross by 2 m is that of natural unit for that of measurements of atomic magnetic dipole moment and that is called as the Bohr magneton which is known as the Bohr magneton mu b when we put off 
द वैल्यूज ऑफ दैट ऑफ बोर मैग्नेटन मीन्स द वैल्यूज ऑफ ई एंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ एच क्रॉस मीन्स एच बाई टू फाइव एंड द मास ऑफ दैट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन ए स्पेसिफिक वैल्यू इज फाउंड आउट दैट इज द रिलेशन एंड दैट टर्म इज नोन एज दैट ऑफ बोर मैग्नेटन लेट अस वी डिफाइन बोर मैग्नेटन इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑर्बिटल मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट द ऑर्बिटल मैग्नेटिक मोमेंट लेट वी से म्यूएल द ऑर्बिटल एंगुलर मोमेंट ऑर्बिटल एंगुलर मोमेंट म्यूएल कैन बी रिटेन यूजिंग बोर मैग्नेटन as mu l is equal to minus g l into mu b divided by h cross to l look here as mu l is equal to e by 2m into l in place of e by 2m i introduce mu v by h cross and l mu v mu v by h cross into l as landes g factor will be this much mu l is equal to minus of g l e by 2m into l bore magneton as that one so throughout this video lecture we studied about what is orbital magnetic dipole moment and bore magneton this is orbital angular momentum here is the bohr magneton so with useful uninformative notes let me wind up this session thank you